Well, Joni, fourth quarter, you guys got it to battle all the way back from uh, 12 points down in this game, get it to 59-57 with 4.46 to play. Then what, what went on? Yeah, you know, uh, during that stretch, Steve, a couple things. We, we come down, we run a, a play, and we miss it out, of, and it goes out of bounds. We come down and get the stop, then we come back down. I think we get fouled, we miss two free throws. We come down and get another stop. Then we get the rebound, and we're just careless with our pass. Um, so three crucial things back to back to back there when we have an opportunity to tie the game. And we don't we defend, but we don't capitalize on it offensively. And, and that's just it's frustrating. Um, you know, you can see it right there. And it's just those moments of how we lock in. I would like to go back again. We started the game yes. just not well. And so we all it's, it's easy to look at how it ended, but we have to dig ourselves out of a hole to start and, and played, in my opinion, a, not a really good first half and end up being able to tie the ball game. And so in those moments at halftime, the conversation is we're capable, clearly, but why, why are we starting the way we are? Why are we not locked, locked into what we were doing? I didn't like how we started today. What do you think was happening there in that first quarter? <laughs> you know, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Um, I just didn't like our lock in. I didn't like our lock in in the locker room before we came in the first time running out. Our chatter was not about basketball uh, or our game. It wasn't productive. And I said, hey, what, our focus is Mississippi State right now. That's all we should be talking about. So I just didn't think we were locked in before we ever started. Well, I knew I, one thing that stood out to me tonight was Sahara Jones coming in and providing yeah. some really valuable minutes. She had 11 points, six rebounds. She seemed to be the one out while usually it's kindred. We go, OK, she's really attacking the boards and trying to be that that integral part of what we're doing on the offensive end um, as, well as well as the defensive end. But Sahara came in and played some really good minutes and really was aggressive on getting them blocked out, getting some offensive boards, giving us those second chance yeah. opportunities. So not only her, but I'm going to ask you a secondary question of how do we get some of our players to lock in on the offensive rebounding side to give ourselves more of those second, third, fourth chance opportunities? Well, that was one of the things we talked about, you know, Katie Lee, before the game started was offensive boards was an area we needed to right. go go do and to, to at halftime have four and only finish the game with six is extremely disappointing. We're right. begging people to go offensive rebound. Sahara's played well for two games in a row now. I thought she was great. I thought Sydney Bowles was really good on the wing, made some shots. We've got to have everybody do that at the same time. But we are not giving ourselves extra opportunities when we don't go off into rebound. Yeah, and it seems like everybody kind of just bails. They see the shot go up, it kind of bails out to the back because they don't want to miss anything on defense. Yeah. It's almost like it's, they're, it's nervous to be underneath your own rim. Well, it, you got to do hard things. Right. And go rebound and then sprint back, right? <laughs> right? We're not playing with seven anymore. Go freaking rebound and then, yeah. You're a thousand and percent back. correct, yep. It's one thing to commit a turnover by having an errant pass, throwing it out of bounds. Yeah. But that wasn't the case today. No, no, no. We had we were careless with the ball. We had some live ball turnovers. I just thought we were too casual and too lax. Yeah. yeah. That so was... that's what's, you know, listen, this team plays hard. They've done a lot of things we've asked them to do. We know it's a process. But there is also a level of accountability when we know what it's supposed to look like and it doesn't. And it just wasn't there today. Yeah. Sydney Bowles struggled the last couple of games, at least in her scoring mm -hmm. and uh, and in some minutes. And some she, sometimes she didn't yep. get all of her normal yep. minutes. But today, a career high 16 points. What did you see from her? I thought she was more aggressive. I thought, you know, she knocked down some, some timely threes for us. But I think she just moved more. And one of the things we talked about is like, it's going to be really hard for you to get open three once the defense gets set run down the floor and let's see if we can advance the ball to you in transition and so we were better about doing that with her and Sahara on the wing today. We said on many occasions that it's almost like the transition offense is better than the set oh, there's play no offense doubt. and there's that's no just it, it it's almost it, it can't be a trend like no. that at some point it's got to click that you all your offensive sets have to go a certain way but yeah you're right transition offense is definitely the key to success for this team in particular. Well it's like we've worked on that all all spring <laughs> All summer, all fall. Then we get hurt. We go to seven. And we're like, all right, we got to walk it up the floor. Right. And Take so now it's like it's now it's like switching your brain back to, hey, we have ten now. <laughs> no. like, we got to get back running. And so we haven't quite gotten back there yet. Yeah. All right, Joni, thank you for joining us. Thank you. All right, that's a.